have to. He said, he said... Ah, fine, fine, I'll go. But all of this better be here when I get back. I don't want a place drunk out from under me. Blasted bloody... I see you got that bastard Lloyd to join the militia. It's about time he did something to help out. I guess this... puts me in charge. <laughs> Poor Lloyd will have an apoplexy just thinking about it, eh? Fair enough. Let me see what Lloyd stored in the back. You can help yourself. What can I get you? When I lock up the tavern later on, I will be. Are you... fighting tonight? That's... good to hear. I didn't know that. Keep safe and come back any time. I won't lock up until near sundown. That about wraps it up. So have you heard? Corridan and him are, uh... You know. Have you nothing better to do than spread idle gossip? And besides, he can probably hear us both, and not being very discreet. No, look, he's not even paying attention. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Don't think that he's serious about it, do you? The woman is a vile fiend. Oh, well, look here. Now who's an idle gossip? Meow. You're the one who started this, I might remind you. And I'm... well, I'm ending it. took a ride on the sails of a windmill. Didn't turn out well. Say no more. The R live, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. That gladdens my heart to hear it. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you.
Kevin said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. You are very sweet. I... I suppose there's no harm in it. Enjoy doing that, do you? I... oh my... Stay... stay safe tonight. And good luck. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. I can pray with them and give them my blessing, but Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I suppose if they believed in the Maker's power, that belief would inspire them somewhat. It, it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Yes. Strange. I had almost forgotten it. Completion. Are you sure you are a Grey Warden? I think you must be an Ashkari to find a single lost blade in a country at war. I would thank you for this, if I knew how. And I could deliver a much more satisfying answer to the Arishok's question if the blight were ended, don't you agree? Then lead the way. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? 
Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. I do not approve of majory and such, but the symbols of the chantry are holy and blessed by the maker, not the work of mages. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. It's time, men. Know the deep fight for the main. Awaiting orders. Oh.